Hey girl, it's Coach B. Wiley. I wanted to let you know, it is A-OK -okay to take your britches off, figuratively speaking, and let that man wear the pants and allow him to lead. You can't shout from the rooftops how guys no longer pursue, how they're no longer chivalrous, how they don't open doors, how they don't actually and actively call and take you out and ask you out and inquire about you and all the interests that come with you if you are unwilling to let them. A man can't be a man as long as you're being the man. So I want you for the love of God to let your guard down. And when I say that, of course, you always want to listen to your gut. Always listen to your gut. Not only that, follow your gut when you're dating a guy. You'll know if he's full of crap and or if he is not. So as long as his actions are leading you in a good, warm, fun, high vibrational environment and he's being consistent and he's literally backing up with his actions, everything that he says, and sometimes he's a man of few words and all he does is more action than running his mouth and bumping his gums, then you might just have yourself a winner. However, you could possibly, what is the word, <clears throat> repel, I believe. You can also repel that winner by wanting to lead, wanting to wear the pants because you've done it for so long. I get it. You're single. I get it. You're Miss Independent. I get it. You have to hold it down for you and your child and your children because whoever you made those children with decided to step aside and not help you. Trust me, I understand all the things. I also understand that a guy wants a soft place to land on. He wants peace. He doesn't want to call you after a long day and it's a bunch of drama. You're being combative. You're being confrontational. And I'm not telling you to lay down like a feather and blow all over the place. I'm just saying be warm be inviting and focus on what your energy is giving someone like come in here i might have to end this so if you're watching this and if you don't know what your energy is given ask the men in your life from your brother your cousin your even your guy co-workers whoever you talk to you want to make sure there is no romantic interest whatsoever. That's why I suggest and recommend family members who know who you are from the inside out because they're going to give you the real spill. All you got to do is open up your ears and listen, receive the constructive criticism, and adjust. Because it's too many worthy women out here who are of great quality who are losing and missing out on equally quality men because you're walking around here like you got a construction hat on and your workman boots on, when really you don't. You're actually soft, delicate, engaging, warm, funny, kind. However, he doesn't get that experience because he gets the experiences that you're pushing upon him due to your experiences that you're still carrying around in that heavy bag of luggage. So do yourself another favor. Drop that luggage off at the door. Act accordingly when guys are approaching and engaging. Let him open the door. And the reason why I came up with the whole door thing where I keep enforcing that is because when I came into the gym just today, let me tell y'all something. I parked in the first parking space but it was like a kind of across from the door. And there were other parking spaces that were right up next to the door. So there were two men. There was a man that was literally at the first door. He was there. I was just getting out of my car, kind of walking slowly. It's raining. and I just got done working out. And then there was another guy who was coming from his right. And he could have easily walked in the door. Both of those men went out of their way to wait for me. I know they went out of their way. <laughs> Because I was walking slow on purpose. And then number two, I ain't about to walk fast. It's raining outside. 
And then number three, it can be awkward when you be going up to doors and you're coming in and they're coming in from both sides. That can be awkward. So I didn't want to make for an awkward situation. But little did I know, I looked up and they both had both doors open waiting on me to come in. They didn't want nothing for me. They just saw a lady walking in the rain going to the gym and they went out of their way to be nice. Men like this exist everywhere, not just in the gym I go to. They're everywhere. They're at your job. They're at your gym. They're at your church. They're at your grocery store. They're at the post office when you go to get a stamp. Your eyes just have to be open and your energy has to be inviting. So remember that. Always keep that inviting spirit and energy so that you can attract a guy that is going to actually care for and comfort you. And so you won't have to be so hard because us as women, we weren't created to be hard as rocks. It just doesn't make any sense. Men are made to be the protector. And if they're the protector and we're trying to protect, like, what are we doing? We're literally bumping heads and it just doesn't make sense. So now we're each other's opponents and that's just crazy. So if you're watching this and you're listening and you're taking it in and you really don't know, you're on the fence about who you are, ask your family members. And if your gut is telling you, I'm talking to you, I am, this is your sign. And all you have to do is make the necessary tweaks. I too had to tweak and still am tweaking. And if the last thing is, if you really don't want whoever in your business, you might be embarrassed or shy about going to family members and friends, that's fine. Go on social media, just type in how to be feminine, how to be softer, how to be more delicate, how not to come off as masculine, how to lose my masculine energy, how to engage appropriately with the opposite sex so that he will see that there are no guards and that my guards are down. I'm not a pushover. It's just, I want him to come and say something to me. Because a lot of women say, dudes don't say nothing to y'all. Well, why would they? If you're on your phone, if you're distracted, if you look a mess, if you're unapproachable, like all the things, it could be anything. So just check yourself, do a self-assessment, regroup, and then put yourself back out there. It's going to work out for you. Speak it into existence and it shall be. You got me? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later.